Okay, I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet, guys, of what to expect in the new Call of Duty Warzone. You've got a new map, you've got faster pace with circles, which is going to reduce the time of how long it takes for each game, down to about 26 minutes, 24 minutes a game compared to 32, 36, what it is now. 100 player count, gas. Um, masks are going to be able to get put on manually, which means you might be able to do better gas rotation plays similar to Warzone 1, as well as there's three new perks, Combat Scouts Back, as well as a Resistance perk, which is going to allow you to go into the gas longer. Return of the Red Dots on the minimap, you're going to be able to see unsuppressed weapons getting shot on the minimap, increased base health, base health 150, drivable trains, always have a pistol when landing in the water, when you're climbing up ladders, hanging on ledges, it's going to make for them plays in the water so much better and so much easier, and you're not going to be vulnerable um, in end zones with someone just dropping back in from the gulag, right? Slide cancelling is back. You're going to be able to cancel the relay or cancel the slide. You're not going to be able to continuously do it like the previous war zone because it's not resetting tax sprint. Reload cancelling is back. Return of stims is back, which is going to give you a movement boost as well. Horizontal zip lines, which is going to be huge, guys. Repel across buildings. Easy snipes, though, so watch yourself. New gulag, also night modes in gulag, fully kitted in gulag, and different special events in there as well. And to end the video, Fortunes Keep, Rebirth Island are coming back, confirmed 2024, with the rumor of Vidansk as well. Anyway, guys, if you like what you see here in the new war zone, what is your expectations? What do you think? Leave it in the comments. My name's Skaterboy, and I'll see you on the next one. See you later, boy.